Hello. Um, thank you very much for um, joining our website, joining uh, the training and looking at our website. Um, we could not go further with the first recording and the second recording because uh, the video uh, stops and we also have faced with lots of um, student problem uh, as they couldn't understand the 2D. And we are not going to teach 2D in this uh, session. So I spend time to explain everything to you so all of us can move uh, slowly together. So we are all in the same level. Now I am confident that uh, Elton has understood and he was able to draw a 3D cone and explained about his learning, that he has watched some videos. Uh, I'm sure that um, Reza also has uh, done a lot of uh, activities for the uh, learning um, and knows how to draw a priest by uh, drawing a six-sided uh, polygon and then um, automatically going to the uh, 3D primitive objects and by just one click and choosing the height uh, the 3D uh, without extrude, extrusion it creates a 3D uh, print and uh, Rosemary has also um, done some presentation on the blueberry about how to draw a box she was able to draw a 2D uh, rectangle and uh, she was able uh, to use the mm -hmm. 3D primitive object option uh, to um, by automatically, without extrusion, get his her, uh, 3D object. So, for the uh, three sessions that we had so far, this is enough in that level. I'm quite happy. Um, I have explained the introduction in my uh, beginning of my lesson but unfortunately the video cuts off so uh, I have left uh, this conclusion uh, to today and now in this uh, remainder of the time for that video that was cut off uh, we are going to um, ask the Reza who is the learner that has to be assessed to be assessed by Multiple choice questions, quiz one. Yes. Okay. Can you, Reza, please uh, do the activity? And the others, because I have taught you about the palettes, toolbars, and menu today, can you please uh, practice the quiz to see if you can answer the questions? And time it, uh, the website itself, time it, you know? And time it. We do it several times to make sure. You learn the quiz very well, but Reza has to be assessed because in this uh, session only one person get assessed. Uh, and he has been assessed for his presentation into quiz. Um, this is the second um, assessment that he's doing on the multiple choice questions. And after that, I will give um, um, Reza the um, instruction to do a similar job to what we did in project one to just extrude. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. So, this one should I choose? Hmm? This one should I choose? This one should I choose? Question one. Can you please bring question one? Play again. Mm -hmm. Did it ask your name? No. You didn't ask your name? No. Option two is five. Okay, so what I do, because you are going to be tested, I give you the um, I give you the quiz in writing. Yeah, this quiz, you don't need, uh, oh yes, 
Yes. You need the computer. Yes. Okay. Um, so, is it yours? Yes. You put it here. Is it good to be put it here? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Can you please bring your pen? Do you have a pen? Yeah. Okay. Bring your pen and focus on these questions. Are you comfortable there? Just sit down in front of the uh, video that uh, Marianne wants to watch you. The instruction is the lessons that you just had it now yeah. about the uh, tools, palettes, and everything we talked on uh, WhatsApp. Yes. Everything we talk at the telephone and the instruction you have with webinars. We are going to test you now yeah. to see if there is anything there. Okay. Hmm? Yes. It's a multiple choice. Oh. Multiple choice questions. Yes. It is 15 questions. Right. So make it uh, 20 minutes to answer the 15 questions. Right? right. While yeah. you are doing that, uh, I'm going to look at uh, Miriam, uh, look at uh, Rosemary. What happened to the quiz? Did you, were you able to answer it? How much do you use your mark? It says um, you've answered five questions correctly. That is good. So five things you learned. Mm. So five things out of the uh, 14 questions yeah. you have answered at this level. That is mm. very good. Mm. What about you? Elton, are you doing the learning activity of the quiz? Mm. Or what happened? How many marks you got? Are you answering or are you... Are you answering the still? Are you working? I just finished. You just finished. What is your mark? Two. You have answered three questions correctly. With this score. You have become second of two. That is good. Can you just go again? Repeat the, repeat the question? So, are you well? Do you have any questions? No, not yet. So, I have to spend timing your time no. so we spend your time from now no. up to 20 minutes thank you you can use your computer yeah. uh, to see if you want to answer that uh, yes you can use your computer for the turbo gap Bringing okay. the a screen of the turbo cat to answer some questions. Elton mm -hmm. and Rosemary, you can open the quiz and open the website of the turbo cat to be able to answer the quiz. If you want, I can give you some of the questions. Um, this is Elton. Elton, take this one. This is also good. Quiz the one. Close this. You, oh, you can keep it for the turbo cat. Keep it for the turbo cat. Mm -hmm. Go to the turbo cat and do this quiz one activity. Okay. That is 14 questions. Okay. Hmm? Just look at these questions. The one that Reza is doing is different. Is Reza is doing quiz two, is it? Reza? Is it quiz two? Yes. Rosemary? Now? Uh, you just go and open the Turbo Cat. You did it um, online, the test. Now you do it in writing. And bring op open the Turbo Cat. This, that was very quick, you know what I mean? That was very quick, the test online. Do it now by writing. There's 14 questions. Mm -hmm. You have 20 minutes to do this. It's your, for your learning because I taught you the palettes, you know? So if you have any problem, you can try on this to find out what's the answer. So it's for your learning. You are not going to be assessed because the only person in this today that is going to be assessed is Red. Now, um, I'm going to close this um, session while you are doing the activities. And again, we finish, we start doing it again to just close it for Reza. Reza is doing this also. Reza has to do another uh, assignment that is a project um, 
similar to project one that he did. We did it at, in the crafts. So he is also going to extrude uh, 2D object to the 3D object like a box with a hole in it. Um, um, I am going to close this lesson by repeating the option, uh, repeating the outcomes. That the outcomes of today uh, was um, that I talked about all the palettes, talked about all the toolbars, all the bars in the and menus in the, the toolbox. Yeah. So now all of you know the difference between a palette, the difference between a bar and a difference between menu. So three different things, menu, bar, and palette, you know the difference. Uh, you have learned about the status bar that gives you instruction how to um, um, type things like a person who comes to you like a teacher. The status bar talks to you about inviting. Do this, type the radius, start a point. So that is a status bar, inspection bar, uh, an inspection bar is for typing the radius of the object you are going to do this, the dimensions and everything you just type it in with lots of tabs. And um, uh, also you did the activity of the 3D um, primitive um, objects and I recorded your activities, learning activities uh, that Rosemary did a box uh, Elton did a um, cone, and Reza did a prism. Um, I recorded it on Blueberry. Um, the main uh, topic of 3D that we did it today was um, Revolve. Um, and uh, we rotated a, a quarter of a, a section, of uh, half of a section of the um, flange. We rotated it around the central axis and um, you saw that how good it looked like after rotation and it was a 3D object was created because of revolving. Um, I hope that all these lessons in the three sessions has been good for you. Um, thank you very much for coming here and um, any questions? Any questions? 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank and uh, we close the lesson.